Alrighty. Well, what I have here is a 2000 C5 uh, fixed roof coupe, or I guess you'd call it the Z06. Mine's not the Z06, but it's got the same top. Um, the notorious window leak, right? Well, I've tackled this thing several times. Um, each time getting a little bit better at it. Um, but this time I actually bought... So as you can see, I have the window completely apart right now. But this time I went ahead and bought the super expensive uh, replacement piece here. Because my other one was cracked in two places and it was completely falling apart on the uh, on this bottom side here. And it was just cracked, all, you know, just cracked all over the place. So anyway, uh, this piece, so we're, we're going to go through this um, and try to... I mean, I'm just basically trying to show anybody once I'm finished with this, I'm hoping it doesn't leak. And if I walk through all the steps and it works, then hope it helps somebody because I know that I've been through this just too many times now. Um, but a couple things is one is uh, I'm going to flip the camera sideways. I hope I flip it the right way that it works best for everybody. But anyway, um, it's pretty obvious that uh, this piece goes on here, right? Something like that. It fits over the window, under here. Let me see if I can get that on there. Uh, like that, right? It goes under. And this piece will be pretty much like that. Now, something that I realized is that it's hard to tell from this angle, but if you come over here... Um, if I push this piece on here, let me come over here, maybe it might be a little better. Uh, if I push this piece down like where it would normally sit, something like this, as you can see, there's a little gap there. And I think the first time I did this, I really focused on that gap too much. Um, I've seen other C5s that have the gap, no silicone, nothing in there, and they don't leak. Because what I realize is that just because there's a gap between the car and there, that's not really where they expect the seal to happen. Um, the seal actually happens right here in the back part here, not necessarily right here. So the idea is this is if this is 100% uh, sealed against this down here, Basically, if the rain drips off the roof, goes behind that black thing, right? The thing we just looked at. Uh, it's okay. If it comes down it and then it runs down like this, the water, even if it falls in there a little bit, they're expecting it to kind of run down the channel. Um, yeah, you could try to put silicone, but it gets, to be honest, I did that and it looks like crap. And... Uh, if they really thought that was going to be the seal, then they would have made it a different design, right? But, a couple things. First of all, as you can see, yours probably has black right there. Because mine, there was a rubber, there's a rubber gasket that the comes from the factory right there. It's black. It's about an inch, inch and a half wide. And it's sealed to the car over this fiberglass. And then they put this plastic piece on top of that. So... Uh, I noticed my biggest leak was right here. And I believe what's was happening was this is super rough and just a mess. And I think the water was getting in here, just kind of trickling down there and just making its way right there. Because I would see little water marks all up in here just kind of dripping off. And even though I put a bunch of gook and stuff in there, um, it just was never able to seal through this mess right here, right? So, I'm going to put something like Flexol or uh, some sort of tape, and I'm going to seal that tape from here all the way across here, to, so it'll make all these things flat, and I'm going to seal it. It's going to be like a permanent seal, and all right here. So, like if I put silicone in here, um, up under this ridge here, and I put it all down in here, and I seal that tape, that's going to give me a flat surface now. And it's also going to seal behind here really well. I might even clean this out a little bit more. Uh, and I'm hoping that once I get a nice flat even surface, then when I come with the plastic trim after on top of that, it will have a nice finished 
surface to work with. So, um, and then I'm just going to kind of walk through it, but uh, at the same time, I have the black piece. And what I realized is I put so much focus on this black piece before, you know, it fits kind of in front of all that. But the truth is, is that most of your water is going to come behind here, leak between the plastic and go down in your car. Um, if, if this, if the water rolls off the top of this thing in the front, it's most likely not going to even hit in your car. And that's the mistake I made is that because this goes on first right here, um, like so. I mean, and if you have a C5, you probably know this, but it goes on like that. So the water is going to roll behind here. Once it goes behind here, it doesn't matter what you got sealed on the front of this thing, right? Because it didn't get that far. It went behind here. So the point I'm making is if you put the black, the black part on the front of this thing and the water rolls off the top here, uh, honestly, it's not really going to roll in behind the black and get in your car. I mean, I'm not saying it can't. I'm just saying that that's not really the, uh, the big problem child, I guess. Uh, anyway, all right, well, we're six minutes into this thing, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of try to show you step by step and see if we can work this thing out. Okay, so I have some PVC tape that I bought from Home Depot. And uh, it's kind of like a sort of plasticky, rubbery. Uh, the idea is that I put it across here and I kind of trimmed it out. That gives this kind of a flat base now. Um, it's not permanently on there right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it back off. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put silicone all back up in here because as I press this on I want to make sure that if any water falls in here that it actually uh, can't get behind here um, that's all I'm that's my only goal right now is to protect all in this area no water getting back up in here that's really the goal so uh, because I really feel like it was getting in here and dripping down here and if I can make without this tape here it's just not flat enough so I'm putting this here and then I'm gonna put a whole nother piece all the way across and I'm gonna pretty much glue it or silicone it similar all the way I'm probably gonna go down I don't know maybe maybe just a little bit past this tape so it'll kinda make a complete border and now what I don't know which I'll get back to is I could put just some kinda uh, like a spray adhesive but I'm worried that it won't it, it'll be fine in all the flat areas right here but right there I don't know if it's gonna seal it so I feel like I need to at least squirt some silicone from here to here all up in here and then maybe just use a spray adhesive here to help it hold but uh, how depending on how well this holds when I'm done will determine how I go ahead and seal this because I may end up having to just put a light layer of silicone all the way across. I know for a fact I'm going to squirt it up into this ridge here because this is like a little lip that comes all over. It's hard to tell, but this actually extends. There's like a big gap in there. So definitely going to squirt it up in there because I don't want any water falling around and getting back and then going in there. So right, we're going we're gonna to get this sucker one way or another. And a couple other things. Uh, this is what I bought. Um, you can kind of see, uh, let's see if I can get with one hand here. You can kind of see that it, uh, I don't know if you can tell how thick it is there. It's not very thick, um, but it's very durable. I mean, you can't rip this with your hand. Uh, so it's definitely got like a plastic PVC feel to it. It's super tough. Uh, not super sticky, believe it or not, but, um, but then I bought this Flex Seal. This Flex Seal almost feels like the 3M goopy stuff that comes in a, in a uh, kind of little strips. Um, I don't want to open it right now. One hand is kind of hard to do. But it's 
actually, if you touch it, um, it's very sticky. So, uh, and it's about the same thickness as this stuff. I think I'm going to end up putting this on as well. I just feel like, believe it or not, this is probably that you can kind of see it right there. It's a similar material, but it's very uh, sticky and a lot more elastic, less of a PVC feel. Um, one other thing, I don't think anything's leaking here, but uh, an important key point is, do you see where the glass ends right here? You see that? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying water was getting in there because I had the plastic trim that sat against the window here, but it seems like to me water could, if it did get in here, it could kind of wrap around and go. Now, we would have to make it through which I believe they probably have some sealant there. It's hard to tell because it's dark. Um, but they probably have sealant all the way down the glass, so it probably wouldn't go in. But I'm going to, while I'm taking care of this, I'm going to shoot just a little bit of silicone all the way down this thing, this channel, just to kind of uh, make me feel better. That's for sure. So I wanted to do a little update video. Um, as you can see, I put some... Of that vinyl tape here and I used contact cement uh, I originally tried to use like spray adhesive and now I'm going to use the Scarilla glue but um, this actually seems to have stuck really well I mean it's if I peel it right here on the edge it's really bound good um, I had originally put a piece here and I put some silicone behind there and I don't know I just it just didn't seem to do what I wanted to do uh, so I pulled it off, sanded it all again. I'm going to try it again. This time I'm going to use a little bit of Gorilla Glue. I think the spray adhesive I had, because that's what I used on this, It, uh, I think it was old. So I wasn't going to use the contact cement, but because I'm putting silicone right here as well, right in this little area, I don't know, it just... Not sure what to do, but anyway, let's see what happens. All right, so here's an update. I have added this black thing here. I did use the spray adhesive, uh, the the uh, Gorilla Glue, along with some caulk here, and I, I used white. Um, I really wanted the clear, but I accidentally bought it. But it, it kind of worked out good because I could see exactly where it would be covered. And it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it anyway. So, but uh, as you can see, that part right here now is completely sealed. So if any water runs down here, it's going to be forced to go over this, which is what I want anyway. Because once I seal the plastic here, I won't have to worry about it, any chance of it getting back behind here so everything will be forced to the front so that was kind of the main purpose here was to I guess anytime they replace a windshield there's always this is going to be your problem spot right around here so anyway now I'm going to test fit the plastic let's see if we can go from there all right so let me give you a little hint that I kind of noticed this black piece that I'm kind of fitting right now as you can see uh, Every time you put it on, you get this feeling that you can kind of slide it this way or that way a little bit, and and you, you want it to conform to the car as close as possible. So what I realized, though, is on a brand new piece, all the holes should line up perfect. And what I mean by that is down here, which you might not be able to see because of the light right now, there's a couple holes. So what I would suggest doing is gauging everything off of this. Make sure you get these holes lined up perfect in the center and start your process of putting this on because as you go up this way you're guessing if you were to start on this side you wouldn't know where to start where to stop right so the best thing you can do is to know that you're at the right place to start on the back side here and then work your way up now when you get right here I actually cut away this just by a hair with the razor blade because I wanted this, as I push it on there, you see that? I want it to be able to fit down against the glass tight. Um, and uh, this piece right here, the flexing of it 
it kind of wants to go straight, but I noticed that if you put it on there tight and then kind of work it, you can get it to fit really close to the car. Um, and that's why I say start on the back side. That way you're forcing everything to kind of go in place where it was intended. But anyway, that's just a little thing there that hopefully it'll all work out. We'll see. All right, so we're taking this one step at a time. I put this on first, and I it's tricky because this back piece, the plastic, doesn't have any specific screw holes because uh, it's actually held on by the outer black thing here. So what I did, the metal piece that sits on the outside. But what I did was uh, I put just a thin coat of this right down the edge of this on the inside. I didn't, I didn't want it to stick out. So I put it right across the edge here going down just right inside there, so when I squished it on there, it didn't want to come out. That is that is not really stopping a whole lot, but I did notice they had a piece of rubber there originally. So I wanted to kind of follow suit with something there. But I also put, I left, the on the back of this plastic, they have some rubber, or, or like a, you know, seal tape or whatever that sticks, kind of rubbery foam pretty thick but it's kind of molded it's not just a flat piece so I didn't want to take it off even though it was it was slightly deteriorated but it was still a little bit flexible so I coated the whole back of that with uh, silicone um, yeah it'll be kind of difficult to get off but I don't think I'll ever have to get that piece off because it pretty much this piece in theory shouldn't crack unless it cracks like right there but uh, so it's squished and now I put this little clamp here because if you don't, this little piece wants to keep rising a little bit and there's nothing to hold it there. I want this piece to stay right where it's at so the silicone behind here all seals and up into here as you can see right there where the it's got its little piece of plastic on the 90 right there. I don't want any of that to move because once this thing seals uh, if it you know if it seals and it's you know quarter inch up well I can't move it then so uh, and I wanted to make sure that this was right against the car here. You can see these little black lines, that lower one right there. That's where the other piece is going to sit, right about the same spot. Mostly right there. These are, the first line is kind of my first try. But this right there is where the piece sits. And the other one's going to sit right on that line there. So uh, I wanted to make sure that that was in the exact position I wanted for it all to meet up. Um, so, I'm kind of going to let this sit and dry. I'm going to play with this other piece, but I'm not going to, if, if I can't get the other piece on without messing with this, then I'll just let this dry for the night. That's it for now. Well, dang it. I didn't want to put that piece on, but I started siliconing it before I could film. So, um, but just so you know, what I did was, if you have a new piece, you're going to see um, right behind these screws, all the way down, there's they have their own little rubber uh, foam piece. So what I did was, originally I was going to use the 3M uh, rope, but I haven't had much luck with it. So I decided I'm just going to go with the permanent solution. And as you can see, I've got white caulk. And what I did was I layered the white caulk right on top of their rubber. And then uh, I also put one little bead of the 3M up in there uh, right around we're on the right along the edge all the way so we'll see how that holds so as you can see I've got it pushed right where I thought it would go just like I said before um, and this is pushed flat against the uh, the car like it should be. This lines up perfect here. I mean, I don't think it'll get much better than that. Um, this white caulk you won't see later because I'll probably just either put a little, some kind of black, some, something black over it, maybe like a little weather strip caulk or something. But I'm not going to caulk. Whatever's in here is just squish out basically. 
but I am not going to caulk anywhere down here because the factory didn't have it caulked, so obviously they don't think you need it. Um, and right here, it came out pretty good here. I mean, it's about as close as the car you're going to get, I think. Um, to me, that looks super clean. Uh, but basically, I'm going to let this dry now overnight. I feel like I've got screws. I put washers because I wanted it to cover everything. I think it's going to work. All right. Well, I'm back. It's actually about three hours later. This stuff is pretty dry. I, I took most of the screws out where it goes in for the other part. I had put them all in because I just wanted to hold it tight. And I put these back, all the ones that go in the little skinny slot, um, just to kind of keep it held. Those will stay in, um, all these, because those go actually behind the other piece. You can tell because where the big holes are is where those screws are now. And then the other screws will go in these smaller holes. Um, and then I think I don't, I don't remember drilling a hole, but anyway, no big deal. So I'm about to put, I'm going to use the 3M tape on the back of this. So I'm going to put about two strips all the way down it and hope for the best. I did bend it in place, kind of really worked it. It was kind of tricky, but I've gotten it to fit pretty good. Uh, I probably could work it a hair more, but I think with the screws it should go in. Over, I also flattened. Whoops. Yep, I also flattened these back down. They were getting pulled out, so I had to put it in the vise with a socket and kind of just push them all back and then tap it down with a hammer to get them all flush again, so the piece would fit on the car good. So let's give it a shot. Well, it's kind of late out here, but uh, got my light on. I put two of these uh, three inch strips right here. Uh, get you some light. Um, if you've never seen them before, it's they're called a uh, strip cock. And uh, let me get you a look at it here. There you go. That's what it looks like. They're long strips. Anyway, I, uh, I put two strips across there and then I put a bead of silicone between the two. I kind of separate them slightly. Now the weird part is that no matter how much I try, the bottom here never touches. The top does. Um, and I don't, and I think about it, I just don't know if that is normal or what. It's, it's very close to touching. I don't think it matters because if the water comes in from the top, um, it's going to stop it from the top side of this right here if it, it can't really get from under here anyway the only place it can get in is where these holes are at like here and you know here where the other screws go in but i'm gonna put some strip caulk in there and seal those up uh i mean and technically it's gonna be behind the rubber so i've never had actually a problem with it leaking there anyway it's always really been at this corner mostly so uh, I think we're I think we got it anyway I, what I was doing here was uh, fixing this up I took this just this black part off and sealed it with caulk and put the screws back in be careful I broke a damn drill bit in there so I'm gonna have to drill a separate hole right here to hold it in there but anyway that's where we're at uh, I mean I, hopefully I got it if this worked then uh, we'll know shortly. Well, it's been a couple days. I had to leave town. Uh, I'm back. A um, few things. I kind of temporarily put the rubber in here um, just to give it a quick test. I may take it out to... They recommend putting some weather strip behind there, and I haven't... I uh, have not actually... They recommend putting some of the, the caulk or the... Uh, 
the three M bead stuff like on top of this and then squishing up there and putting the little little pins in there. Same thing over here. I haven't done that yet. So it's just kind of sitting here flimsy. But a few things I noticed uh, when I did this outside here, I had to kind of go back and do it a little bit. Um, make sure when you put the metal piece on this side here that you don't allow this to move. Mine is like really tight up here and then it barely comes out, not much, but uh, probably just because I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I was, but not super close. So just make sure when you hold this down, when you screw that part in and all that good stuff. But uh, um, I did put a little bit of water on it. Didn't see any leaks yet. Uh, I haven't put a whole lot of water yet. Um, so having that gap right there apparently is okay um i did get a little bit of water like right there but i think that's just because i don't have all this mounted correctly so hopefully once i think it was probably kind of coming down here maybe falling on here coming in here so but it was just a little drips um anyway we're about to tidy this thing up and see how it all looks from the inside you can kind of see this is where we're at um, you see how you can actually see up in there you would think oh my god it's gonna leak right but the metal never really sits flat it sits flat on the top but as it comes down you do get uh, you know a little bit of flex there so um, but that's just the way it is there. Uh, so I can get, I'm trying to hold my camera. All right. Uh, so there, you can kind of get a look at what it looks like from the inside. That's all the caulk. Kind of squirting out. And I did put some caulk up in there. I squirted it up in there just to kind of fill the gap. I don't know if it was going to leak, but I didn't want to find out. So and it just kind of... So that's what you see. And it did not leak right there, which was the problem spot before. Now, I haven't put a ton of water on it yet, but uh, at this point, if it leaks, I wouldn't even know what to do. Maybe I would just squirt a bunch of silicone up in there, just in case. I mean, I, even if it did leak, I think it would be like it always has been, which is ever since I fixed it the first few times, it's always just been subtle subtle leaks nothing like major but um we will soon see all right so this is where we're at with this whole rubber deal um you have to put a clip behind here i mean a little a little uh like a little push-in pin it actually goes behind the rubber and then it pushes here. There's another one that's going to go right here. There's one that's a little bit higher. You can't see it because it's on the inside. However, the weird part is this rubber, the newer one, seems like it's a, too long. So you have to actually squish this up in here. And it kind of does this weird thing here. But I think it'll work itself out. I'm not too worried about it. I poured water on, water on it and it didn't, didn't really do anything. So... Um, they make this little lip here. I don't know if I mentioned that. So that way if the water does get in there, it'll hit this little lip and then just kind of run in this little channel here. Um, as you can see, I have the door panel off because I am adjusting the window. Uh, so the idea is that the window should come right under this little lip here because when it when the door closes, it kind of pushes right at that edge right there and it just barely misses this thing and that's the idea and it pushes up under there and that kind of jams itself under there and what was happening when i was closing my door as it came down here the glass was sitting too far over here so it was actually missing this here and it was going right in front of it more of a flat instead of a push like that um i'll show you how i adjusted it but first let me show you when you close it um so as you close it you can see the glass, right? It kind of comes right, see that? Almost touches it right there. And then when you slam it, 
see how it's right under that little lip right there and see it's pushing the rubber up well over here um, the glass was too far before see now you can see right right I mean it could probably go just a hair more or maybe I might lower it just a hair it's kind of a, a little bit of a trick because you have to kind of twist the glass and uh, because if you look right here it's almost straight but it looks like the glass up top here is pointing this way just a hair which is okay um, but actually if I lowered this side over here it would probably fix this because and it would possibly as I go down here it might help it to meet right there you see I mean it is almost perfect right now I may leave it that is man that is too just too close I don't know maybe maybe a hair but anyway so that's that now as far as adjusting it um the way you do it is uh do i have the battery hooked up yes i do that's good all right so uh the way you adjust it is let's come down here so i just loosen this screw here and over here and the whole glass you can almost take the whole glass out now you now it's got some rubber there it kind of gets connected to it not by glue or anything just kind of pressure over the years so you have to kind of separate that I took it all out and cleaned it up myself but uh, um, yeah so you can the glass itself will move inside of there and also the screw moves up and down so now these are adjustment screws which you can get to from the bottom of the car through those little plug holes that tilts the glass kind of in or outward um, to give the glass a tilt towards the uh, car or away from the car and I think mine are okay everything seems to be super tight no point in adjusting it so anyway so I'm gonna give it a shot I'm gonna just barely tilt it a little bit more and then I think I got it